page 71 of your Cardiac Jazz With Me interpretation book, you'll find an idioventricular rhythm. And this is a rhythm where the focus originates uh, from the ventricles. So in other words, the focus that depolarizes the myocardium originates from the ventricles. And so consequently, the heart rate is typically slow because the inherent rate of a focus firing from the Purkinje fibers is between 20 and 40. Um, if you had an idioventricular rhythm where the heart rate was above 40 but less than 100, we call that an accelerated idioventricular rhythm. And that's the most common uh, reperfusion dysrhythmia seen in patients who are having an acute myocardial infarction who receive uh, reperfusion therapy such as um, thrombolysis. Um, P waves are absent in an idioventricular rhythm and consequently the PR interval is not applicable. The QRS is wide, always wide, so at least 0.12 second and typically closer to 0.14, 0.16 second. Um, so we have a wide QRS. The ratio is not applicable if there are no P waves and the rhythm is regular. This is important, right? Because um, if, if the, the um, QRS complex is um, consistent in morphology and that's exactly what we see here, we see that this QRS is identical to this one, is identical to this one. Um, and that suggests that they're coming from the same focus. And if the same cell or group of cells is firing in sequence, it does have a tendency to fire rhythmically or regularly. So that's what we see there. And I mention that only because if you had the same consistent QRS morphology, but the rhythm was irregularly irregular, then uh, if you think back to one of the earlier rhythms we looked at, um, in order for it to be irregularly irregular, the underlying rhythm would probably have to be in atrial fibrillation. But any, in any case, an idioventricular rhythm is regular, it's slow. Uh, this is a potential uh, uh, very serious arrhythmia, potentially uh, fatal arrhythmia, uh, and one that requires immediate intervention. Typically, patients who experience um, a slow idioventricular rhythm like this are hemodynamically unstable and require uh, transcutaneous pacing. Let's just look at um, what the heart rate is here exactly. So here we find a QRS that falls in the dark line. So the heart rate here is 300, 150, 100, 75, 60, 50, 43, 37, 33. So it's about um, 35 uh, beats per minute. That is uh, very slow.